Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I just want to give a quick shout out to Elysium Bros. I'll leave their channel link down in the description so go check them out and give them some love. So let's get into the video. Pokemon have just released this Pokemon called Turtonator. He's a fire and dragon type. So if you guys want to go watch the trailer, I'll link it down in the description and then come back to this video afterwards. Right guys, so we are back after that trailer. Hope you all enjoyed it. And um, as we can see here, Turtonator is a fire and dragon type, which is pretty cool, sort of like Charizard. And uh, he also has the ability Shellama, which we'll find out about in a little while. Um, as you can see here, it says that uh, Turtonator was living near um, volcanic craters and has a layer of um, explosive material, mostly sulfur, um, on its back, so his shell is made, actually made out of sulfur. Um, it says, in volcanic areas, this Pokemon camouflages itself as a rock and waits for prey. And the moment, at the moment when prey steps onto its back, Turtonator strikes its shell with its own tail, triggering an explosion. Oh, so it's like a little, it's sort of like a lighter, but it's sort of, well, sort of like a dynamite, I guess. Um, but yeah, um, it says, this is, oh wait, hold on. Ah, oh, there's an orifice located on the middle front of the Pokemon's body. This is Turtonator's weak point. Attacks landing on this stomach will cause a great deal of damage. Okay, so that makes sense because he's turned away from us in in game. So maybe you have to get him down to a certain amount of HP to maybe get him to turn around and maybe get to hit him in in that hole. Um, but it says uh, for shell trap. It says that is a move that only Tur Turtonator can uh, can learn. Oh, uh, it says, Shell Trap triggers an explosion that will deal much greater damage to the opponent, which is pretty cool. So, um, so say if you attack it, then the attack um, coming back will be a lot more powerful. Um, but I don't know if this is going to be sort of a standalone Pokemon, or if it's going to be, uh, if there's going to have an evolution, but I'd like to see an evolution, like a pre-evolution for this Pokemon, because obviously he's quite big. Um, so a smaller little sort of rock volcanic Pokemon might be quite nice to see but uh, I guess we'll just have to find out in the coming weeks and when Pokemon Sun and Moon actually comes out uh, but if you guys did enjoy the video please uh, smash the like button and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next Pokemon video see you later